The portal is now open. Wholeness. It's symbolic for the uh, pineapple. And this represents your pineal gland and also is very, very, very powerful in the sequence, the matrix, the mathematical sequence that those cones in the pineapple actually grow in. Um, you know, that's like the Fibonacci scale in itself because they're growing, one's growing this way and one's growing the other way. And it creates like this little vortex of energy within itself. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I think it's such a powerful fruit. And it's like one of the best tasting in the world. So you got to think about something. If the world was your mother, wouldn't it make the best food for you taste the best? You know? That's right. <laughs> like, like uh, how, you know, so it's just like, you know, the, some of the, but we eat some of the worst stuff. And, right. uh, you know, and then, so yeah, the pineapple is, is representative Pine your uh, pineal gland, right? And that's uh, your third eye. This is basically your differentiator of uh, knowledge <laughs> here in this world. And what you choose to accept as truth is, is often, you know, uh, affected or Im implied by the activation of your pineal gland. They knew about this stuff in ancient Egypt. The outline of the pineal gland and the whole hypothalamus system is actually very representative of the eye of Ra. You know, Ra being light, being the sun. So when you activated your pineal gland, you were therefore enlightened and consequently a child of the sun because we all come from the same source. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And uh, what else? Pineal, pineapple. Pine and, cone. <laughs> right. And the pine cone. Right. Some pine trees around here, a bunch of them. Yeah, pine tree, pine cone. And pine cones are very interesting because uh, one of the stories I learned about them is like they actually saved the world. Pine cones saved the world. When fire, forest fires happen, right? When forest fires happen, and they happen all over the world, like every hundred years or so, a forest should burn down. Uh, because what happens when that fire runs across that forest floor, the pine cones, the tens of millions of pine cones that have been dropped in the forest floor explode. And that seed that they leave behind grows a new tree, right? But it takes the heat for the pine cone to act, for it to actually become a tree. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they have a seed that's built inside this thing to where it actually releases when heat is applied to it. And mm. uh, that's very similar to the pineal gland, too, because it's like, you know, once you activate it, uh, then it's almost like a spark of light. And that light, you know, basically changes. Right, that comes uh, with um, with because it's a, a secretion that the pineal gland you know, secretes it's like the DMT type. I don't know yeah. if DMT is the synthetic version, but it's a it secretes that, and that's where you let's say in complete darkness you see light, like when you get into those deep sleeps. You know. It's, yeah, 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 it, it, and and that's what I was telling you about the monatomic gold because I think that actually helps a lot. Um, so I don't know if Savan is still selling it in the secret energy store. I went on yeah. there to try to buy some more. So yeah, yeah if, he, if he still has it, I mean, it's it's very good. I took it, I take it, um, and I think that kind of stuff is very, very, very valuable uh, for helping people, you know, see. And that's that's all that's all we advocate for is, you know, the world is essentially going to create its own truth based on the tens of millions of truths that people have accepted as truth in their life, right? What people don't realize is if everybody on this world thought, like genuinely, genuinely thought that they could grow wings and fly around, then the next day, everybody on this earth would have wings and be flying around, right? This is an experience to where everybody is connected, but the individual is king of their own mind.